Nobody realized just how big this year would be, but indeed, they win the national championship, and the Shark does be in. 103 to 73, the final score. Yeah, baby, number one! I would never take this off. Never. <laughs> never. You're going to keep it on forever. It's not coming off. How do, the, how do those rings fit? I think it's a pretty good I fit think myself. It's perfect. <laughs> it's buy some rice here. We just won a national championship. It's a great feeling. What can we say? What do you got to say, Trav? Uh, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> we're going to Disneyland. Look at these rings, though. We're number one. Vice and rice. <laughs> You know, I'm going to give it to my moms, and, you know, whatever she want to do with it, she can hang it on her neck or whatever, you know. I proved to myself, you know, now to get her my mom, you know, she brought me here, and uh, she, she brought me up and did a thing, you know, helped me out when I was down and did the things that I, you know, that I was doing bad. She, you know, come and corrected me, you know, I just love her. David, what you going to do with that net? No, um, well, I'll probably um, split it up with the other seniors, James Jones, Moses, and... See, honor, it's weird just cut this down because this is a wonderful feeling that you can always look at these strings and, you know, just it's just a wonderful feeling. It feels great, you know. It just feels so great, you know. I really can't explain how it feels because it's probably the ultimate feeling I've had since I was playing basketball. It's the greatest feeling in the world. To leave, you know, this is my fifth year at UNLV. I'm glad I brought home the national championship in the city of Las Vegas. Me personally, no one can take this away from me. It's the best thing that a college athlete can endure, and I'm number one in the nation. No one can take this away from me. You know, honestly, I still, I still am. I just haven't sunk in yet. I'm just, you know, I feel good, but I'm, I want to just go back and uh, hopefully try to salvage this semester for school and, uh, you know, prepare again. You know, it would be great to get come back again and win it again. That's the best team he's ever played against me. You know, that's real. Like, I mean, you guys are fantastic. Hey, no, Enjoy. How are you going to celebrate tonight, Anderson? I don't know. I'm going to celebrate my family. You know, I'm not going to do too much celebration. we got school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and this for talk. It's for everybody. It's for everybody who's a UNLV fan, everybody who puts on UNLV jersey that goes out there and play, the people back in Vegas. It's, it's for everybody. At what point, point Larry, did you, know, did you know the game was over? At what point? But when, it, when, when, the, when, the, when the buzzer went bomb, <laughs> I knew the game was over. No soon. Right. feels great. I feel great for Nevada. I feel great for Las Vegas. I feel great for UNLV. I feel magnificently great for my husband. My husband's a great coach, and I think he showed what a great coach he is today, and I think these kids showed their character. So um, what you think about that old that little guy, that number 12 on our team, that look running around everywhere and hollering and hyper, number 12? What you think about this guy? Awesome, yo. I think he was MVP today, wasn't he? Wasn't he MVP? Yeah, he was. Coach, who's, whose idea was it to bring Walter Payton in before the game? God, he called us. Seriously, Walter called us. We didn't even know. I, I didn't. I never met him. I didn't even know he was a Rebel fan. He called and told how much he's, he loves the Rebels, how he lives and dies with the Rebels, and he asked if he could talk to the team, and he was so beautiful. When he finished, all, every one of my players went up and hugged him. Everyone went up and hugged him. I mean, he said some touching things to the kids, and it really meant a lot. And after the game, he was in the locker room again with his son. He is a Rebel fan. I'm really grateful for that.